Meridale Studios. It's a really cool place where we're going to watch them recording the soundtrack for Bill, or part of it anyway. It's such a famous place. People like Adele, Emily Sanders and Tiny Temper have recorded their work here. Let's go and have a look. Tanvi, uh, welcome to Lip Sync. This is our post-production house. This is where we're editing Bill. And you come to take a look. Should we go there? Show you the edits with us. to the edit suite, and this is where we cut and build. Can you tell us a bit about the post-production process? The post-production process, yeah, definitely. So everything you saw on, on the shoot, that's production. And the moment we finish, we go into post-production. And that's where you take the pictures and the sound and you turn them into the finished film, the film that you'll see at the cinema. Um, so the first stage is to edit the pictures. We're going to take all the individual shots we're going to choose the best bits of each shot and we're going to put the shots together to try and tell the funniest, most entertaining story that yeah. we can. How did you find this place and how did you find the players? Was that your job? Uh, no, there's a music supervisor who will, who knows lots of different musicians and we go to him and we say right for this track I think we like a double bass, a lute which is like a Elizabethan guitar um, and a banjo and they go oh well, that sounds very interesting I'll go and call all those different people and bring them together. We've already made the decisions we know what the music should sound like and it's just a great luxury to just go into a studio and listen to great musicians play this music that's been written for the film. <laughs> So can you tell us a bit about the editing process? Yeah, um, let's have a look at uh, the edit suite. So we've got our, our computer which does all the editing. We'll bring up a scene that you might be familiar with. So um, we're going to show you two takes yeah. and the action's just the same and you wanted to know how do you know what the best takes are. Well, you watch them and you tell us what you think. Okay, this is take one. What's it gone? I thought you were dead. Don't believe everything you read. I can't read. Good. Any survivors? No, sir. Whoever it was, did a thorough job. Okay, that was take one. Yeah. Now we're going to show you take two. Oops. Well, I thought you were dead. Don't believe everything you read. I can't read. Good. Any survivors? No, sir. Whoever it was, did a thorough job. What's the best take? Uh, I think the second one. You think the second one? Oh, yeah. that's interesting. So why did you think that? Um, I think uh, the third line, it kind of just got more jumped in, which I thought worked a bit better. So the timing was, was better? Yeah. That's very good. Well, I can reveal exclusively that that is the tape we're using in the film. So you've got it spot on. That is the best tape I've ever. Have you ever had people, maybe on a cold day, wearing uh, the modern coat or having, just having a water bottle or something in their pocket or their phone out while you're filming? Yes, we have. Uh, we had one take when Jim, I think he was playing Marlowe and he was... We started the, the tape and I think he was, he was holding a plastic cup of tea. <laughs> but he was dressed as a cucumber at the time. So, I mean, it's a bit of give and take. Really. How, as a composer, do you make sure that the audience can understand what the characters are feeling through the music? That's a really good question. Um, for the songs that I did, I was given a clear instructions from, from Richard as to what he wanted me to do. One of the things I found is that if I wasn't doing it right, somebody told me. So that it, it was a process yeah. of reworking things over and over again until everyone was happy with them. That was not bad. So Richard, what is your favourite part of making a film? Wow, good question. All of it. I love doing all of it. Um, but a film has lots of different stages, as you know, because you've been following us 
the writers have the idea, uh, and you work on the idea and turn it into a script, and then you cast it and you do the production design, which is how it looks, and the costumes and the makeup, and then you shoot it, which is this tiny little whirlwind in the middle where it all happens at once, and then you edit it. Once you finish editing, then the sound team takes over, and that's the dialogue, and all the sound effects, and all the music, and then right at the end, the titles, and then your film is complete. It's been really nice talking to you. Oh, it's great to see you again. <laughs> Come back too. soon. And we're nearly there. Yeah, can't wait.